right, so welcome back, y'all, to King Street Kids Q&A. We have another um, episode of introducing our staff um, here at St. Matthews, and we are happy to um, sit down today with Ron Millings, who is out at Bethany Cemetery. Good morning, Ron. Good morning. How are morning, you doing? Morning, Ron. Yeah. Doing fine. Cool, cool. So, Ron, you've been at Bethany, working at Bethany about a year now, right? Just about a year in yeah. May. So can you tell our boys and girls a bit of um, what what is it that you do out at Bethany? Uh, it's quite a complex, different type of jobs. Uh, I guess the main thing is to, to uh, provide services, funeral services mm -hmm. for the families. Uh, we also have to keep records of everyone buried here. So there's maybe 10,000 people buried and we go all the way back to the 1850s. So we have quite a bit of records and uh, people call in from all over the world to find out about their relatives. Wow. There's uh, also maintaining the facility. We, we have the chapel office that we have all, that's our office space where all the records are kept. Uh, we have maps of all the, all the graves and we have about 25 acres. Um, what keeps us going, we have uh, landscapers. We have Randy and uh, Dale. And without those two workers, this would not be a very nice place to go to. So they're, uh, they work uh, every week, uh, come in at five in the morning, leave about two in the afternoon. <laughs> and their work never ends, does it, Ron? They're always continuing to clean up and trim and mow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, uh, during the summer, they spend all their time mowing. And during this time of the year, uh, they're going in and lopping, uh, trimming the bushes. You know, you're supposed to maintain the bushes, the people that own the plots, but we, we do that for them. And we like to keep it about four feet. So we've uh, really got a lot of work to do because maybe it hasn't been done as diligently in the last few years. So uh, Randy and Dale are really out there um, coming up. And you know, Ron, a lot, a lot of times, not just boys and girls, but grownups too, think that cemeteries might be sad places and scary places, and they can be. But Bethany Cemetery is a beautiful place that with the live oaks and the Spanish moss and, um, and, and the, the um, the tomb, the beautiful tombstones. It's it's a really pretty place, and it's a very quiet place too. You think it's a sad place, but uh, it's really a, a very comforting place. And people come in and find relatives that they didn't even know they had, oh, wow. and they have tourists from all over the country. Most of them want to go to Magnolia Cemetery and end up here, but then <laughs> once they get here, they stay at Bethany. <laughs> we we have a beautiful. Um, entrance way too. I think the entrance way is um, uh, it's it's sort of imposing, but it's a beautiful with the iron gates and the stones. It's a very peaceful place. So, Ron, um, before you were out at uh, Bethany, um, I know you were or you are on um, St. Matthew's has a cemetery committee, um, and you you are on the cemetery committee. So, how did you get involved? with um, the cemetery committee and um, Bethany and, and, and this kind of work. How did you get into this? Um, well, I was invited to be on the cemetery committee, mm -hmm. um, but I have a real interest in history. Uh, mm. I used, when the Charleston Naval Shipyard retired, I went back to the College of Charleston and got a degree in history. Oh. And so this works into that. That's awesome. And Ron uses the most, I don't know if all the boys and girls know this, Ron uses that or has used that in the past as a carriage um, ride tour, tour driver, or um, guide downtown and on the peninsula, which uh, is so much fun. And I think maybe Daniel will have a surprise in the coming weeks for their King Street kids about that as well. <laughs> yes, that was interesting. About 20 years, it's a, uh really an interesting job to deal with the with the people and the animals <laughs> the <laughs> animals we used to deal with and the people sometimes yeah i bet sometimes the animals are better than the people huh <laughs> <Start on it. laughs> 
have you had uh, or do you remember any crazy questions that you got or any strange questions that you got while giving those tours or were there any common things tourists wanted to know? Uh, the main thing is they want to know if people lived in these houses. Mm -hmm. I guess it's such a beautiful city that most people think it's a place like Williamsburg that's been restored, but most of the houses in Charleston are restored by the people that live in them. Mm -hmm. So if our boys and girls, if they, you know, if they wanted to go, come and see Bethany if, and get out to Bethany Cemetery, um, just to see what it looks like, uh, is there, are there certain times that they could come and visit um, with their parents? The cemetery is open, uh, the gates open at eight o'clock and uh, during the winter they close at five and uh, during the spring they close at six. As far as uh, visiting, uh, I'm here from eight o'clock until about 3.30, four mm -hmm. o'clock. So uh, anytime they want to come, I'll be glad to show them around. We thank you for what you do for us, Ron. Bethany is an important part of St. Matthew's past, but also its future too. Mm -hmm. as, you, as you said, there's a lot more, there's more space to expand and grow and, um, and to preserve Bethany Cemetery. And there's a lot of, opportunity for the church to participate in different things here. Uh, we, you know, we had services here and we welcome any volunteers to come up and do anything they like. We actually, in, in past years, we have tried to uh, utilize the cemetery more for some of these worship spaces, like All Saints. Mm -hmm. um, we had our Blessing of Animals last year. We had actually had Christmas Eve. We're going to actually, the the uh, people of St. Matthews will find out in the next coming weeks that we're going to offer a, uh, we're going to return to the Easter vigil service, the Holy Saturday service, which will be at this point planned for Bethany Cemetery. So uh, we can use it for gathering space too. Mm -hmm. And the youth have gone out and helped with uh, just some of the groundskeeping, cleanup, stuff like that. I think Dr. Beeman Otherson has offered some tours out at Bethany as well. So. Yeah, in fact, Dr. Beeman was out here uh, last Saturday. We had a funeral and he was the bell ringer. Yeah, I think that's another th neat thing that um, has, I don't know how long that's gone on, but um, when if there's ever a funeral procession coming into the cemetery that um, many of the times I've been with a funeral procession, um, someone has been on the porch of the chapel ringing the bell as people come in. And I think that's a really neat um, way to acknowledge what's happening um, in the cemetery. Yeah, that's the tradition we started last year. I was the official bell ringer, but uh, <laughs> since I'm leading the funeral then, uh, we need another volunteer. So I've reached out to the cemetery committee, but anyone is welcome to uh, to participate as a bell ring, just let me know when you can do it. Well, thanks for joining us today, Ron. We're um, glad you could uh, drop by. And um, for our boys and girls, we'll be back um, next week. And uh, so if you have any questions for us, um, if, you know, particularly around worship or faith or life, um, you can send those questions to Daniel at uh, youth at smlccharleston.org. And we'll be glad to um give it our best shot so yeah thank y'all thanks, thanks. 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 thanks.